Alright guys, so here's a quick setup or a quick how-to video on hooking up a satellite uh, receiver to your CC3D, whether it's Spectrum, JR, or in my case, Lemon Receiver. Um, I have here a Spectrum radio that I'm going to hook up with. Um, I've already done all the wiring uh, for this satellite to the CC3D. As a lot of you may know, this uh, only needs 3.3 volts of power, and the CC3D, they actually have a place for that. You can see here on the top, I soldered that red wire. I don't know if you can see where it says 3.3 volts. There we go. Um, and I've already uh, grabbed the, the signal and the ground here from the flex port. There's these two ports on the board. One's called flex and the one over here on the right is called main port and flex port. Anytime you're binding, you must uh, always bind through the flex port. So what we're going to do now is we're going to grab our USB. We're going to plug it into our computer. Once we did that, we're going to go here. There's a little tab on the bottom called uh, Flight Data. Pretty much we want all these lights in here uh, green. These two can be red for now. Then we want to go into the configuration. And you're going to see here, pretty much we want this to be disabled. We want this to be DSMX. And we want this to be disabled as well. We want these values to be what you see here. Make sure. Typically, they should be that. But uh, um, obviously, for you guys out there that have DSM2, you would choose DSM2. In my case, DSM X 11 bit. I've had very bad luck with 10 bit, so I'm not going to run that. Maybe it's just me. Um, so we're going to choose DSM X 11 bit. I'm going to go down here and click Save. You see the check mark. Typically, we want to disconnect the board for a good 15 to 30 seconds. Uh, meanwhile, uh, these for you guys interested on my build here, I uh, sell these frames uh, almost ready to go. All you need to do is add your own battery and uh, radio. I can sell them with a battery as well. I can sell them with FPV, uh, pretty much anything you guys like. Um, they're, uh, you know, I can pretty much get it ready to go 100%. Uh, this here is for a client that uh, purchased a Lemon uh, receiver. Uh, you know, bringing the satellite set up on a CC3D saves a lot of space, especially on these low quads. Not only space, but weight. Uh, so what I'm doing now is uh, stop talking about the frame here and hook up the USB. Once again, we're going to go to that flight data. And we want to make sure all these are green. It's okay if these are red. Um, and then once again, just verifying all the settings up here. We have 11 bit, disabled, disabled. Okay, we're good to go. And so then what we wanna do, we wanna click, click on, from, so from configuration, we wanna go to the systems tab here. You see this come up. There's gonna be a drop down when you click on settings. You see all these little things come up. So we wanna look HW setting here. And there's going to be more drop down from that all the way to the bottom of that you're going to see dsmx bind you can see here there's a number zero you're going to notice you can increase or decrease that value let me show you what that these values mean so we're going to go back to configuration this is just uh, to let you guys know what that value means on the flex port here you see this whole drop down each one of these represents a number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten the only ones we care about are either 5 or 7. In my case, since I am doing DSMX, it's going to be 7. If I was doing DSM2, it would be option 5. So I'm going to click on, I'm, I already had that click, so I'm just clicking back on it. We go here to the system menu. We increase that value to 7. We go up here and we press save. There we go. So once that's been done, uh, what we can do is disconnect the USB. So now that the USB has been disconnected, we can uh, pretty much follow the standard procedure to binding your radio, whether you have a Wakira, a JR, uh, a DX8, you know, whatever uh, manufacturer you have, just follow your standard binding procedure. So what we're going to do now is uh, apply main power to the unit itself. Remember, the USB is disconnected. You see here connected, but it's actually disconnected. We're going to apply main power, and you're going to see the satellite start flashing. There we go. So we're going to do our regular bind. 
can see here that light flash slowly and then go to a solid. Now we're going to wait for the radio here to initialize. Okay, there we go. We've got a solid, solid light here. Radio is ready to go. So what we want to do, we want to grab the USB, hook it up to the computer. Go to the um, light data menu. Make sure we got all these green here. We want to go back to the system menu. And we want to bring this value back to zero. So that value is only to bind. Once you're done binding, you want to bring that back to, uh, to zero. Then we go all the way up here. We click save. Okay. Once that's done, you can go into the configuration menu again brings you here. Um, I'm gonna, um, we're gonna move our, our uh, satellite back to the main port. So we want to make sure the main port is outputting DSMX and the flex port we can actually uh, disable it since uh, we don't need it right now. So we're gonna go down here and click save. And just to confirm we have disabled, disabled DSMX 11 bit. <clears throat> so now, what we're going to do is uh, power everything down. So we have USB uh, disconnected. We're going to disconnect the model. We're going to power down the radio. So what we're going to do now, we're going to physically remove the satellite from the flex port and we're going to move it to the main port, which is there. That back in. There's not much room in there, but we'll eventually. Okay, there we go. We have it already hooked up. So now that that's done, we're going to turn on our radio. We're going to power up the model. And then we're going to connect the USB. We're going to go back here to our flight data menu right here and we should have all green lights. Once you have all the green lights, you can go here to the welcome menu. This is your first time setting it up and pretty much go through the uh, vehicle setup wizard. That'll walk you through pretty much everything. Um, and that's uh, pretty much it here guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something and I hope uh, I made it a little bit easier to setting up your DSM-2 or DSM-X to your CC3D4. As always, thanks for watching guys.